Hi, my name is Pierre Tofting, and today I'm going to show you how to tie a mayfly. Oh. We're going to start with putting in a needle. And I actually have some other tools for this, made by a company called Jason, like these. And they're really nice, but I'm going to show it on a regular needle for you guys today. We're starting with putting on some thread. This is a 10-0 viewer's thread. And I'll just leave the left away up here. I'm not going to cut it off. And then we're going to need some moose hair or elk body hair. You can try to find. Oh. Three pieces in the same color. Uh, approximately the same length as well. And we're just going to tie this one on again. This is sitting a bit loose out here because we don't want too much thread underneath the foam when we get to that. We'll try to align the three hairs like that. Find the length and tie them in. To keep them just a bit apart, you can you can put one turn in between. This is. There we go. And then we'll take a piece of foam. And I have these cutters here, and you can put it out, or you can cut it out with a scissor, then kind of like make a profile like this one. I'll take the end of the foam, two turns on a small tip out here, just a small then we'll take it two thirds turns behind. Make a little space. Two turns again. Two turns behind. And so on. Make them a slightly bigger each time I go around. And I think I'll use about, I'll have six of these little bubbles here when I'm done. Put a half inch over here. We'll cut it. Need to grab it really firmly here and pull it. Oh. 
And you can see here in the backside there's an opening here. And you can see the tread moved out a bit here. And now I'll give it a bit of glue in the space in here. We'll leave that to dry for a bit and we'll put in our hook in the meantime. For this one I'm using the curved drive life in a size 10. We'll come in here just about the bar. You see I left the tying thread and uh, the hairs here and they're pretty nice when you need to tie this in to help you control it all. So I'll make another little bubble on the hook here. I'll do that without the tying thread. And here I'll cut this piece here, I'll cut that a bit thinner. And then we're going to use the top of that as head in the end. That's just tie this in. Then I'm not going to use that to the head. I will tie it down like this, so we'll use that as a head for the mayfly in the end. Got this little piece of thread in here from when we made the body. We cut that off now, the glue is supposed to work. That's it. 
Then we put on some marker on the sides here. And I like to do the four corners just like this. And I'm gonna give the back end a bit more color. Like that. I fish my mayflies for sea trout mainly. And it's a quite exciting thing. You can catch really big sea trout on these flies. Now we're gonna put on the wings. And I got two CDCs feathers here, and I make them back to back. Then you can cut them just with the scissors when they sit up here. But I got this uh, Mayfly burner thing, and you can cut around that as well. So I'll put, put them in, try to make the steam follow down here and then just cut around it. Sorry. So you got, got it roughly cut around here. We take them out here. We've got a nice pair of wings here. If I'm out on really windy days, these wings can sometimes curl the the leader. But uh, I find when they're made of this CDC, there's not really much issue with these big wings. I tried the plastic ones or from other stuff, kinds of material and they seem to to curl up the leaders a bit more. Like that. And now I'll go down. This is a, those things they call magic sponges. I saw this uh, on Instagram and this worked really well. I got the tables and stuff from Mark Peter Young as well, and they work really well as well. But uh, you can buy six of these big sponges here for like 30 Danish kroners. And that's really cheap, so. Everyone can join this. And as you can see here, I got three big CDC feathers. And I got a bit of wire here as I'll push through them down like that. And now I can pick them up with my clamp like this. I'll help it a bit with opening it. And I got the tree feathers in here. You can see the stem on that one is not really up that high, so I'll move that up a bit. Like that. And I'll put a long scissor here. Now we got that for the body. I'll do one more thing on this fly actually. And as you can see, you can use the body or the tail as you got it here. But you can also give it a bit of this, this thin man, a very thin UV version. 
and it'll make uh, the body shine a bit more and uh, actually look a bit more lively or lifelike. And of course, this adds a bit of weight to it, but on this fly, it's, there's enough updrift, so you won't take it down. Like that. There seems to be a lot of UV bling in this one. Huey Mayfly. Now we'll make a tubing loop just underneath the wings. Like that. And I'll use the thread here. Now we take the C to C and put it in the dubbing loop. Make sure it's all inside. Give it a good spin. That looks pretty fine. And now you take it and you go around the wings and you slowly move outwards from the wings on both sides. And we're gonna end here. Finish it off. And these flies here, when they sit on the surface at nighttime, it's very hard to see the difference on this one and the real one. They got a great silhouette to them. Put a few half it up here. Like that. I'll put a bit, bit of brown color on the head. Some prefer eyes. I'd just like to paint it all brown. I like to take the center part of the body give a brown bit as well. And that's and I'll take the C to C, pull them down and give them just about same length all around it'll make the flies look not as wild when you look at it. Like that, and you can just pinch off the hairs. And finally, I'll cut, cut it in the bottom so it sits better on the water. Just make it more even down here.
that's it thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed